Hello Capricorn, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekend reading, which is going to be from the 18th until the 19th of September. We are going to be doing an, a reading between you and your person, see what's going on between you and your person, whomever this may be. Um, we're going to see basically what's going to come in. I'm going to be putting your person's energy here and your energy on this side, but if you want to reverse those energies, you can do so because it is a general reading. While I am burning these herbs, I'm also asking that your spirit guides um, come in as well. I'm calling them in. I'm also using the herbs to cleanse the space and the area um, of any previous readings I've done. And I'm going to ask your spirit guides as well to please, at the end of the reading, give us their perspective, give us advice uh, with regards to what is going on here. So they're going to give it their perspective, their advice on what they see. Remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you guys, um, please check your rising sign, check your, your moon, it's too many cards, your moon and your Venus as well. Because sometimes rising sign, it's no, it's the rising sign is how you deal with life, how you deal with problem, people around you. And um, your moon and your Venus is love energy. So check those out as well. Let's get in here. Let's have a look and see your person's energy. Grace and gratitude, Capricorn. Through gratitude, joy expands. They're happy. They're happy. You're healing. Um, this is an ex. This is an ex person that we're looking at here. You guys are not together currently. I feel like they're working on being happy here. They're working on um building their life and uh expanding their world improving their life in some kind of way with you i see you working through pain a little bit painful situation rejuvenating rain okay it says clear your past and then you can heal the present energy so i honestly i feel like this is a person who you guys had a breakup but it wasn't what you wanted with this energy coming through here. I feel like it wasn't what you wanted. And on their side here, it's like they're trying to be happy. They want to be happy. You know what I mean? So whatever was going on between you and them, maybe they were not, they were something that they were not happy about or they were not feeling happy. So this could be the reason why they stepped out. So let's have a look and see. Wow. Um, let's go deeper. Let's have a look at using the tarot. Let's go in deeper into their energy and then we're going to go look into yours and then we're going to get some advice from spirit to come through here so let's have a look and see seven of cups here so this tells me that it was them that made this decision i feel like this is somebody that walked away from you okay this is them that made this decision and it took them time to make this decision it was an emotional thing that they had to choose to do as well um <coughs> But at the end of the day, sorry, I'm coughing like it's a new reading. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know I caught COVID recently. Yeah? We were like, I didn't release videos for like a week and a half, I think. And I'm still recovering, even though it's over. But you're, it's like the third week now, the, going to the fourth week. It doesn't go away. It just stays. You know what I mean? Um, but listen, this energy, yeah, the Seven of Cups energy, they were the one who made the decision to in this relationship they did it because they want to feel more positive or maybe there was problems that they didn't want to face anymore so let's see yeah they were the one there's the chariot card coming up here as well it's also cancer's energy as well and they did this very quickly almost like they could have done this pretty unexpectedly they were the one who led this in the direction that they wanted that this ended up going and again i feel like they're doing it to um, just to be out of an energy they didn't want to be in. Okay, it's a very interesting reading. Um, they were the one. Again, it's showing over and over again. They were the one, they were the one, they were the one who broke up this connection. Um, the Queen of Swords, the cutting energy, sometimes can be pretty cold, pretty brutal, pretty cold kind of vibe coming through there. It's almost like... <clears throat> I mean, they did think about it, right? With the Queen of Voices, Queen of Swords energy, it's something that they did think about. And uh, I feel like there was frustration in this card here. They were not happy. And then they just decided to cut this connection out. That was their decision. But I kind of feel like they didn't look at how you would feel. That's my vibe. I feel like they didn't look at how... They were basically looking a lot at how they were feeling. They never really looked at how this would hurt you. That's how I feel when I'm looking at this spread here. Let's have a look into your energy and have a look and see what is going on here. Like, okay, we've got temperance that has shown itself. What other card? The two. 
of Pentacles has shown itself. Let's take that one and we're going to shuffle just a little bit more. Temperance is also Sagittarius's energy as well. You're being careful. Um, you're being careful. You're not sure what is about to happen here. You're still holding on here with the Two of Pentacles, kind of like wanting to let go and at the same time kind of holding on a little bit still, wondering, will you hear from them again? What is going on here? Um, but at the same time, you're being very careful because you don't know what this person's about to do. I feel like you're a bit confused as well as to what they can do. Um, but there's an energy of you holding on a little bit, still holding on just a little bit there. <clears throat> Look at that, full card. Um, so two things come through with the full card. I want to just have a look and see, go deeper into this full card. I want to see what is going on with this full card, please, spirit. Is this you? Because I see the full energy of the person walking away. You could be trying to make a decision to release them and just walk away from the situation. Let's see what your spirit guides will say. Um, what is this full card? Let's go deeper there, please. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, you, it's a death. You're literally going, um, should I walk away from this situation? Should I let it go? Should I let this die and just let it go? With the full card being there, I feel like you're still going to maybe make this decision to let this person go. Um, with the death card being there, um, an ending, of course, of something that has happened. Even if you're holding on now, I kind of feel like you're not going to. I feel like you're going to sort of like release this energy of them. So let's get in here and have a look on their side. What's going on there? They are hurt. It didn't, it's not like it didn't hurt them. I said they're pretty cold, but it shows to me that they still think about you. I think they still think about you, but they, but there's something with regards to them. You see the three caps that they're looking at here. It seems to me they're looking at something else here. They're not really looking at your guys' connection, which is the two cups. They got their back turned to it. There could have been a lot of stuff happening in their world as well. A lot of things that they wanted to fix. Maybe they were not happy in some kind of way beyond you, beyond the connection. And it's almost like they just, you know, for some reason, I almost feel like they cut a lot of things out. They cut a lot of things out and you were just one of them. You know what I mean? They just cut a lot of things out of their life. They were not happy. That's for sure. They were not happy here. And this is what made them make this very swift decision. But I feel like it's more than just you. And right now they're working on their happiness. So <clears throat> let's get some more cards out here. Spirit guide, it is your time to show us is this what is going to happen between these two people? What do you see that we do not see? Or what do you want to show us here? Let's see. Ace of Swords. They, it's some, there's something going on with them. They did feel like you guys couldn't be successful. The Ace of Swords, especially because the Queen of Voices, which is the Queen of Swords, is literally underneath this. Um, I almost feel like they felt like they, they didn't have the strength to carry on with this or they just could they felt like it wasn't going to be successful or no matter how hard they try this is never going to work out that's the feeling that i'm getting let's see this side seven of cups you're still going to have to make a decision you both got seven of cups here um you still i feel in some way kind of like got a bit of hope or a bit of um wondering especially because the two of pentacles is here as well will you guys still maybe get back together will you still end up talking with each other you're still trying to figure it out yourself and um you're gonna see something pretty soon i feel like it's not that you're gonna see something i feel like you're gonna make up your mind about this to be honest to me it feels like you might release them as well to be 100 percent honest with you um i see you're like holding on a bit wondering Will they come back in? Um, is this, can this problem be solved? Can you guys work it out? But at the same time, I feel like there's that death energy with that full card there, which talks about you having a new beginning and releasing the past kind of vibe. Let's get a card out here for you guys, which talks about the direction that you are going to be going next. What's next year? Let's see. Taking shelter. The answers are within. It is going to be you. That makes up your mind. It's not going to come from them. It's not going to come from something that they do. You yourself, the answers lie within. I feel like you're pulling away more from them. Um, I feel like you come to like this realization that they may not come in. Or maybe you start to see what they've seen. That this may not work out. And that's something that they've seen. And this is why they pulled out. They felt like this is not going to work out. I feel like it's not going to work out. 
and no matter what I do, it's not going to want to work out. And I feel like you come maybe to the same realization that, you know, if they don't want to come back in towards me to try and make it work out, I can't make it work out with somebody who's not willing to make that effort with me. And at the same time, I feel like this is something you're going to figure out on your own. There we go. Thank you so much for coming into this reading, Capricorn. I'm wishing you all the best, really, as you move forward. Um, move forward to your place of happy, to your place of joy, to your place of the best life that you can live, you know. Go to a place where you are happy, you know what I mean? And um, stay away from anything that makes you sad. You know, that's the main energy of life, you know. If it's good, go there. If it's not so good, don't go there, you know what I mean? But there we go. Please hit the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe as well if you so wish to do so. Um, hit that notification bell that's next to the subscription button so that you know when the readings are coming out. Um, they do come out twice a week. Um, what else? If you want to have a personal reading with me, you can also reach out to me. There is an email below in the description box of this video. Um, what else? Let me think. Um, yeah, no. If you want to follow me on any of my social media platforms, you can do so. Otherwise, I'm sending my love through to you wherever you may be. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.